Hello and welcome to the Studio Virtual Tutorial on how I make modular techno with Repro One. Um, there's quite a few presets as well in the description below, they're totally free. We're going to be using one in this. I think there's 14 of them. So yeah, go and download that and then you can follow along. And please, while you're there, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps or leave us a comment or something like that. <coughs> so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I just wait for it to drop. Okay, so let me just solo, solo the sequence. So basically, well, I wanted to make a sort of modular sort of techno sequence. Obviously, this isn't a modular sync, but it's got uh, modular routing capabilities. And basically, on a on a modular techno track, we'll have a, a normal sequencer, uh, like the first row of sequencing notes, like we have here. And then you'll have like the second row, where you'll just plug it into weird stuff and make it modulate um, other stuff. And so you get these weird moving sequences. Um, and I've tried to reproduce that here by using velocity and then routing velocity as a modulation source. I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, first of all, I've just set up the synth. It's a fairly simple synth patch. Let me take this. That's what it sounds like. Uh, it's detuned. One's oscillators up, one's down. Uh, it's, a, it's a tight sequence uh, by <coughs> really short filter sequence. And the reason for that is I'm going to modulate the sequence length so it it changes throughout the sequence. I'm basically going to modulate this, which is the sustain. So I'm, I'm keeping it tight to start with, and then I'm, the effects in Repro are really good. They are um, they're set up like a pedal board, like a, a guitar pedals. Um, but yeah, they're really good. So I've, they've got them all on. This one is just doing a little bit of distortion. There's a bit of delay reverb at the end but the real the one which is really good for shaping your sound is this one the res cue which is like a filter bank and you can tweak it like that that's the high band and i, I, I mean it, it, this is really good for sound design obviously you can send like elevos to this but i'm gonna i'm gonna sequence it with velocity basically so i'm gonna sequence this and this so the seat so for every note it has a different value and it jumps about and the way i do that First of all, I'm going to put a load of random values in velocity. We're going to come back and change them later. Um, and then I go here to keys, and there's this perform section here. And basically, you can then route the velocity, like as if you're getting a cable in a Eurorack thing, <clears throat> and plug it in to whatever you want. You can just grab it here and go there. And then, if I turn this up, you get used to this sort of cool... Um, <clears throat> filter opening effect which you can change on this sequence here like. you can change values here and that that's making the filter envelope jump about so you get more movement throughout the sequence than you would normally <clears throat> and then I'm going to do the same with this one it would be quite cool to do that with an LFO as well but just for this I'm going to do it with velocity <coughs> So now you're getting this resonant jumping about. Uh, uh, you can do it the other way. And you get these really cool effects. And um, uh, you can play with it forever and tweak it. And yeah, that is basically it. That is uh, basically the idea of it. Um, you want to use this, this to just to tweak anything really, but I would say filter envelopes or filters or the effects, especially this filter here. Filter one. You can apply it to the low as well. I'll just show you what that looks like. So you can hear the bass and you've got good headphones on jumping about there. So yeah, you want to set that right how you want it, and then you can just tweak it in the, in the sequence. So you can set values for it here, and then on top of that, um, I have automated stuff. Uh, it's just standard stuff like I've automated um, the other bands here and the filter. So I've altered the low and the high. So the, the high, I bring the automation in here, just so it's tweaking about here. Crazy, um, you can see it there's tweaking. Uh, just so the high end jumps about a bit, and then I 
presets if that interests you and if you like this synth please let me know because I have no idea how many people use it. It's fairly obscure but, um, but it's pretty good. I think it's really good. Um, so yeah, go and get those presets and please give us a like and subscribe when you can and leave us a comment. And yeah, that's it for me. Uh, good luck with your music making. Have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.